so I'll try not to get my hand in the way today because I got my hand in the way the other day when I was doing my video and I'm really sorry about that anyway so where I want to put the piece today is along here so this side because I don't know how big that rock is going to get so I thought I'd put them like in between these um, well I've got loads so I'm just going to put them in a drill along the front of these broad beans in between the salad and the bean and I'm going to put them in there and I'm not letting them grow really big because we're using them for the salad tops um, and that's the goes we're using them for the pea shoots so we're not going to let them grow like huge so they won't need any support because we're just going to let them sprawl a bit because um, I need to cover up all this soil really so and if, I, if you look here you can see I've actually had some flowers uh, yeah this one's better look can you see that there's actual well let's try and get it on flowers starting on my broad beans so it's not going to long so I've got both the doors open so I've opened this door here so insects can come in um, a bee there's a couple of bees that come in here so hopefully they'll pollinate the flowers for me so we can actually get some beans oh look here you go here's some ones in flower here look they're, they're actually going in flower here so we need these flowers pollinating otherwise they won't turn into beans so we need insects coming in here so i have this door open a bit here there's enough gap so i have this door open and this door open to get a nice airflow going in here but i have to keep all these barricades in the way because of the pheasants i don't want the pheasants coming in here but I need the insects to come in here to, germ you know, to pollinate the flowers. Otherwise, we won't get any beans or anything. So anyway, so I just wanted to show you that. So we'll crack on with this little job that I'm going to do. And then I've got to go and help my partner round the, round the back of the building doing some digging today. So I just want to show you that. Um, yeah, okay, let's crack on with this. So let's see if I can um, make it so you can see what I'm doing. Okay? Anyway, so... I've got my peas here that I've been soaking for like three days now and they're just dried peas that you buy in a packet um, so I thought right I'm going to just do what I saw this person do so that's what we're going to do so I'm just going to put them in a drill in this bed okay oh. and then if we've still got some left we'll go and back over it again I'm really looking forward to doing this. It's a really beautiful day today, actually. And then if there's still, if I if I still got some beans peas left, I'll just go back over it again. So I just put a load of peas in this jar in a jar and I just put water on them let me just turn this here oh I brought my cushion out and now I'm not even using it anyway, I don't really need it some of these are already starting to shoot I noticed well, hopefully they sort themselves out in the ground as to which way up they go Them like that. Right, I tried to do the filming, hanging up the thing. I can't really see in here. The light is reflecting on my phone. Anyway, I've sowed peas. So I've done them about an inch apart. So I've sowed them about an inch apart all the way along um, in this drill. There you go, I'm just showing you and then I'll cover them up with some soil. So remember all these peas are just for pea shoots. So I only want them for pea shoots. So don't worry that I've put so many in. And then they go around this corner as well. Okay, and in the front is the salad. And I've been to sewn in between the salad as well with some more salad. Because I noticed some of these were getting a bit not very good. So I thought, you know what, I need to sow some more salad. So that's what I did. Because I don't know, some it's eating these. So 
I, instead of fussing around with them, I just thought I'd put some seeds straight into the ground. The ground is really, really, really warm now. This soil is really warm. So anyway, the other day I sowed in between. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, see you again in a minute. Hi there. Right, what I've decided to do now is just sow some carrots. The little carrots that I showed you the other day that I was going to sow into the bed. Um, so I want to do that. I've just got my cushion. So I want to sow these carrots. I'll show you where I'm going to sow them. And then I'll, um, I'll show you after once I've done them, okay? Because it's underneath the table this time. So it's quite difficult for me to actually show them to you what I'm actually going to do. So I'll turn the video around so you can see where I'm going to put the carrots, okay? Here we go. Right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to kneel down on my cushion here. So what I'm going to do, see this is under the table, um, at the front here I have the mustard. Um, I don't need to move these two spider plants, I just keep moving them around the garden since I potted them up. They're just really pretty aren't they? Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I've got my two pots, I've just watered them. So I've got two pots of these carrots. These are little weeny ones, little round ones. And I think they just go right well in this gap. Okay, so that's where I'm going to put them. So I'll sew them and I'll show you them once I've done them. Okay, thank you, bye. First of all, I'm going to water the soil because it's really dry under here, I just noticed. So I'll water the soil, then I'll sew them. Okay, I sewed my carrots under here. And what I want to do now is I've got a few french marigolds in here from last time when i had some and i kept the seeds so and i want to show you so i've planted all the these tiny little carrots which they called these okay carrot perigee round carrot short roots they're little round ball carrots so i've got one two three four five rows of those and in between those I'm going to grow these, hold on, let me just, I'll just slung them in this bit of tissue, these French marigolds, so I'm just going to grow them in between, and uh, yeah, so that uh, it deters any carrot root fly or carrot fly or anything like that, okay, so I'll just do that and then I'll see you soon, bye. So, I've just spent a whole day out in the garden with Simon, and we have actually finished doing our bonfire now and we started clearing around the front there's like a a dip thing um and the wall i'll go and show you quickly um so i just wanted to say goodbye actually because uh so i can put this video up <laughs> otherwise i can't put the video up if i don't say goodbye so anyway i'll just show you quickly um the polytunnel again just really really quick and then i'll quickly show you what i did around the front okay so see you soon so i just want to show you quickly the polytunnel so it's the doors have been open all day everything is growing the crest look at that so it's my plan tomorrow is uh, i like to work outside and inside like simultaneously so do some work indoors then do some work outdoors so tomorrow my plan is just to put these fenugreek in a bigger pot so i'm just going to put them in a massive pot and that's all that i'm going to put in there actually i might put some livingston daisies in there with them because i've got these livingston daisies here uh one lot of these i'm going to put in the garden i know exactly where they're going to go and this other lot i want to keep in the polytunnel so i need to get rid of get them out of them pots tomorrow so i'll do those and the fenugreek and then I have been cutting this actually so we, you can see I've ate some of this and it's already grown again so I will cut some more tomorrow and we'll make sure we have egg sandwiches with cress because I love egg and cress sandwiches so I will make sure that we can have that tomorrow because uh, we've got loads and loads of eggs and in here at the coleus they started to grow look at that I love these these are really good for um, edging and stuff and also for hanging baskets and tubs so that's what i'm planning on growing them for oh and who's moaning now so anyway i just wanted to quickly show you um i told you what i've done earlier in here um everything's growing really really well just wanted to quick 
show you what's going on so once the peas get a bit bigger I'll be able to tie some string to them and I'm going to tie them up to the post at the top so that's it really so I just need to go and show you what I've done around the front um, before I say goodbye okay so oh yeah just one thing I want to show you the delphinium seeds that have started over here so the stock had started but if you look you can see the delphiniums are starting now but we still haven't got any growth in these ones here but all these well these two these two have started to grow so it's all looking beautiful in the polytunnel actually i absolutely love it out here and everything's lovely and green it's just so perfect so anyway i'm just going to show you what i did outside me and simon did outside today okay so i'll see you again oh, in a minute as well let you come with me on my walk round to the front of the garden everything's looking really pretty and if you look on the peris now it's actually got some new leaves which are pink it's such a beautiful plant because one minute you've got all these flowers and then it's replaced by new pink growth oh hello <laughs> so i'm just quickly doing a video to finish babe anyway so i just want to show you what we were doing today around the other side so i'll just quickly show you that hold on a minute this doesn't look very pretty as we started it and then we decided to carry on with the bonfire <laughs> so what we've been doing today is simon basically i haven't was digging out all of this because around here is concrete plinth which i discovered when i was clearing out these beds i'm sorry if the shadow's getting in the way and there also is a concrete plinth around this hedging so we're going to clear all that and round there is a nice little wall as well um, just the same as over this side so if you look over this side you've got all this nice slate wall and it's on both sides so if you look there you can see what we've been doing today well mainly what Simon's been doing today <laughs> um, and all round here all round here all this so what we need to do now is just that we're just put getting the um, topsoil off because we're going to have a like a ledge well there's a ledge there and then we want to have a dip in between the grass you see that and the steps you know the ledge so we're going to have a little dip so it has to be nice and straight and we're separating the grass from the topsoil um, and some roots here as well and digging out some plants that are right near the edge as much as possible but it'll look much better in fact it actually already looks better if you look at it from back here it actually looks really good doesn't it and all these daffodils have come out now which look really cool so i just wanted to show you that so you knew what we were getting up to today um, and annie's come hello Anu. <laughs> so Anu comes to see what we're up to and that's it so thank you for watching and if you like my videos please like them and subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video and i will see you again tomorrow okay so bye for now bye